What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another 07 Scape video, and I am just chilling here at Sears Bank. I've been doing rock crabs for a while, and let me show you my stats. You can see that I've gotten quite a bit done. I'm at 60 attack still, I'm now at 71 strength and 63 HP. This puts me at a combat level of 58. So uh, I have a pretty solid strength level considering my, uh, my combat level, so I should be ready to stake starting tomorrow or maybe later today. So I might actually stream a little bit of that tomorrow, but I'll let you guys know. Anyway, uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you my stats, and this video is actually to show you my bank because I'm going to start staking tomorrow, and you can kind of get a reference of what my bank is going to look like before and after. So let's take a look over here. So this is basically my rune stash over here. Nothing changed too much. Uh, I did get a lot of pure essence since my last bank video, a couple more runes. Um, the Harpy Bug Swarms and Pyrophines drop a lot of fire runes, so yeah, definitely pick them up when you're doing those tasks. I think they drop them in bunches of 30, and since the rune stack, of course, you can actually make quite a bit on a trip. Uh, yeah, let's see, uh, just a whole bunch of gems over here. Most of these are from random events, though I did pick up, uh, quite a few at Rock Crabs and a couple from Slayer. And, yeah, you can see that my randoms are just out of control. 23 kebabs, 18 beers, spinach rolls, 10 frog tokens. It's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, the randoms in this game are <laughs> kind of crazy right now. So, besides that, you know, nothing much. This is the junk tab here that I haven't done much with. All these seeds are basically the same. Nothing too, uh, too interesting over there. My seeds are actually pretty solid, you know, I got a handful of good herb seeds, three uh, three toad flax, avento, irid, snapdragon, uh, 20 strawberry seeds. I'm not sure how much these are worth now, but they're pretty decent. Uh, 155 coal, I actually pick these up on every trip that I do that rock crabs. I see a lot of people drop them, but as you can see, they add up over time, and since they're going for around 250 to, I want to say, 300, I think, um, it adds up, and I've been picking up some other stuff on the way too, and uh, it definitely will help you over time, so I recommend you guys do it if you do, the, if you do go there. Uh, four Ranar seeds, 19 Tyramin, 9 Harrowlander, and uh, again, the herbs over here. Now, these are all units, and I kind of left them that way on purpose because I basically know what they are, but I don't want to, you know, identify them yet. And if I, this is a little bit over 1,000 over here. I want to, I'm not sure exactly. I want to say maybe like 1,300. And I think units are going around five to 600 each if you, uh, if you really like wait it out. I've seen some people even buying for 1,000, but that's, uh, I assume, only for the higher end uh, herbs. But uh, these would basically go for around half a mil to around 600k, assuming I have around 1,200. But I could actually identify all of these eventually and make even more, because I think this stash, one of these two stashes over here, is all Ranars. So I do have quite a few high-level herbs. I mean, Chaos Druids made me some pretty good money. I also picked up all the vials at Chaos Druids, because these are worth just way too much. There's not a lot of vials of water or vials in general in the game. So when you actually finish off a vial, you probably don't want to throw it away. So yeah, I think these are about 250 each. I did use a bunch of them to make uh, mostly strength potions to, to train my strength in the meantime. And uh, yeah, these are basically all from fighting evil chickens. I've been getting a bunch lately, and since my strength is pretty high at a low combat, I kill it pretty easily. Uh, I, I had over a thousand mithril bolts. I sold a thousand of them to uh, somebody during a live stream recently. Uh, let's see, five nature talismans, nothing too special there. Um, these are all the attack potions I made. Let's see what else over here. Some Slayer stuff, the white mystic gloves I got from one of my swamp lizard tasks. No, I'm sorry, desert lizard task. Uh, yeah, let's see what else here. This is actually pretty funny here. You see I got 2,600 iron knives. I didn't smith these. I've actually been uh, picking these up from, from people who don't bother to at uh, rock crabs. And uh, yeah, you can see it's added up over time. 2,000 of them were actually from this one guy who was AFKing. And he brought 2,000 with him and dropped them right away. So I basically made bank off of him. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else I got over here. I got 21 caskets. I've also been saving these up at Rock Crabs. I want to try to get to 100, hopefully, and like make a video opening up all 100. But uh, I mean, it might take quite a while because these don't come that often. And uh, giggity. Uh, <laughs> uh, 20 limpwort roots. These go for around 800 to 1,000 each. Um, when you're at Rock Crabs, the hobgoblins drop these. And I've picked up, a, I want to say, probably like 200 by now. I turn all of them into, uh, uh, into potions since I have the Terramans banked. So yeah, it's ac it actually kind of pays for itself as far as me uh, using strength potions to train. Uh, I bought a bunch of uh, lobsters. That's also what I used to train at Rock Crabs. I had around, I want to say I had around three to four thousand, and yeah, I've just been using them all. It eats up a lot of my money, but I'm not too concerned with money right now. I'm pretty solid as far as that's concerned. Uh, cash stack 647. Uh, where I got most of this money actually was from the flax stash that you saw last time. I bought 20,000 flax for 20 GP each, I believe. And I turned 6,000 of them into bowstrings, just kind of AFKing. And uh, yeah, I sold all those for 75 each, which is pretty sweet, because I think bowstring go for 55 to 65, so I made some good profit. And as far as the rest of the flax, I sold all of that for 30 each. So I actually flipped that pretty well. 
Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, green dehyde vams. Uh, I'm going to use these for when I get 40 ranged. Actually, I'm sorry. I was going to use the black dehyde vams over here. I paid 20k for these. I'm not going to really use these, but I just bought them as a set. But I want to get 70 range soon so I can actually use these because the iron plate legs, you know, they just suck. They don't give you much defense at all. And this would actually be a pretty nice addition to have, and I could actually slay just slightly better at least. Because I really don't want to do rat crabs all day. I want to Once I make some money from staking, I want to actually, you know, start doing some slayer and other stuff. And hopefully training some of my viables. So let's see what else here. Um, Just some random stuff. You can see Steel Simi, Desert Boost. These are from stuff that people dropped at Rock Crabs. Black Plate Legs again, same thing. And uh, yeah, that's about it for my bank right now. If I had to guess my overall value, I'd say somewhere around, I want to say a little, a little over 3 mil if I had to guess. I've been spending a lot, so I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, these, are, these go for about 100 each, 647K. The Herbs are probably where most of my money is at. And, uh, yeah, I want to say, if I actually sold all this stuff after identifying it, uh, well, definitely well over a million, for sure. And let's see what else. 1,400 oak logs, I forgot to mention that. And, um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff over here. I bought the Pure S pretty cheap. I bought all of it at 15 when, it, like, people first started mining it, and then at 23. Uh, I sold some of them on a, I traded, actually, I traded a bunch of them for Chaos Runes for, uh, Ice Warrior task, and ended up using them all. Ice Warriors, they eat up runes like crazy. But uh, yeah, that's the gist of my bank. I'm not sure what the value is. You guys can leave a comment and kind of maybe if you guys want to guesstimate it a little bit better than I did. But that's about it for now. So I just wanted to show you this because I'm going to be doing a lot of staking and hopefully this bank will get a lot bigger in the near future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Take it easy, guys.